Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. First off, I want to apologize for being halfway through January and this is like the second video that I'm getting up for this month. I started the new year out so motivated and ready to film content. And then I lost my grandmother on January 2nd. She was on hospice, so we were pretty prepared, but nothing can really prepare you for an event like that. So just been grieving and funeral arrangements and all of that has taken up some time. And then we had a very unexpected medical emergency with our dog Bryce that I don't want to get into, but just please, whatever you believe in, whatever higher power you pray to, just send some good prayers, some good vibes our way. It has been a really rocky start to our new year, but I'm thankful for Mandy, the sweet girl that I'm collaborating with today. She gave me the motivation to get my camera out, get some makeup on, take a shower, do my hair. Um, so yes, I'm collaborating with my sweet friend Mandy. Her YouTube channel is Mandy's Old Soul Vintage. And today we are talking about our favorite ironstone pieces in our ironstone collection. And you guys, so Mandy sells decor on Instagram. She also has an Etsy shop. And let me tell you, she finds the most amazing stained crazed ironstone pieces. And I'm sure if you head over to her Instagram, you DM her something you're maybe looking for, she can help you out. But honestly, she has some of the best pieces. I can't wait to watch her video and see her collection because her collection, like you guys think mine's nice. Wait till you see the crazing on some of her pieces. I am just in awe. I'm like, how are you finding those? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, thank you for bearing with me. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. All of that good stuff. So we're going to get right into this video. I'll leave all of Mandy's info down in my description and on the screen here as well, but I will leave her video link. So as soon as you're done here, you can click on the link and go check out her video. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be amazed at her collection. <laughs> So we're gonna do this like really laid back, just like chit chatting about some of my favorite pieces. Before I started this video, I was like, what pieces do I really want to highlight and talk about? Because honestly, I could stand here and talk for like four hours about my favorite pieces, but I'm gonna spare you that. But the first piece that I wanna share with you that I found quite a while ago is this picture. You guys, this is one of my favorite pieces. And I love this thing so much. And I think at the end, I'll do some close up videos of my hutch. I know I just did one for Christmas, but I'll do like a close up video of all of the items in my hutch right now. I do have some random iron stone in other areas. But like I said, this video can't be four hours long, so. <laughs> We're just going to talk about a couple pieces, but this is one of my favorite pictures, if not my favorite. This is the most stained and crazed picture in this style that I have. I would love to find more. They are just so beautiful. When you can find them with this patina, nothing like makes me happier than looking at this. I don't know why. If you love ironstone, you know, like you just look at these pieces and you're like, oh. so I'm absolutely obsessed with this piece. I remember finding her. I paid, I think, 25 or 28 for this piece. I probably would have paid 100 for this. Don't tell my husband, but we love that. So beautiful. So she is one of my most prized possessions. And then... These are more recent pieces that I found. I have one here, and then I also have one tucked away right here, but I'll just show you the one. And it is this chubby, someone said this was like a biscuit jar, a cookie jar. 
I just call it like a chubby sugar bowl. I don't know, but I think these are so cute. The chubbiness of them, absolutely love. I actually found this out with my husband antiquing one day. Gorgeous stamp on the bottom. This one is just solid white with no staining or anything, but she is beautiful. It has like these little lion heads on the handle. Love this piece. So right next to my favorite picture, which is here, I have this picture that I found a little while ago. I would honestly say like maybe a year, a year and a half ago. And I have never ever seen an ironstone picture like this ever since. This is the only one I've ever found like this. So it's not stamped, but it is just this beautiful detailed picture with this spout and the spout is like more stained than the rest of the piece, but I've never seen one like this. Let me know if you guys have any like this, but I just thought this was so different. This piece is so heavy and I love it. I can't remember where I got this or how much I paid for it, but one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I have an obsession with the soap dishes. Um, so normally, like you would think like the soap dishes are this small. So I just call these large ones like soap dish shaped ironstone pieces. I don't know what the bigger ones are called, but I have a collection of smaller ones. And then I have a collection of larger ones that are like oval shaped and they are so good. This one on the bottom, I showed you guys this one in a recent haul. If you watch all of my hauls, I was in an antique store. I always say, do your second lap around the building. I'm so glad that I told myself to do that on this day because this was just sitting on the floor full of Yankee Candle wax melts. Like you couldn't even see the inside of this, but I was like, I saw the side and noticed all of this like staining. I was like, wait a second, what is that? And don't you know, this is probably like my top five favorite ironstone pieces of all time. Like, I don't even know if you guys can understand how fantastic this is. And as I'm collecting more and more, don't get me wrong, I love my all white ironstone dishes, but now I've been like hunting for more like stained and crazed pieces because they just add like a level of dimension. We love them. And then I'm totally obsessed with these little baby ones. They are the cutest things. I actually just found this one at the Goodwill. I can't remember if I shared this in a thrift haul. I feel like I did not, but this is a Greenwood, China, Trenton, New Jersey piece that I snagged at the Goodwill for $3. And um, these are the same Greenwood. Oh no, I'm sorry. Maddox, American, China. Got those two. And then this one is a creamy tan haul dish. And they are just so beautiful. Something about like these just stacked in a hutch. Chef's kiss. Time to put back this hundred pound stack of dishes. <laughs> a couple people actually commented on one of my videos and they were worried that my shelves were leaning. I think we're good. Seems pretty sturdy to me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna scooch on over. Like I said, you guys, I could share these pieces for hours, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe one day I'll do like a really long video, um, but I'm not gonna do that today. I recently found this. I think I got this maybe like three or four months ago. I had visited an antique store that I had never been to. And this was a find on my second lap around as well. I feel like all of my treasures are on my second lap around a store. Somehow I missed this amazing piece. 
And when I saw this, it was on top of this like really tall hutch. I looked up, I could not even believe my eyes. This thing is so beautiful. It's so worn looking and aged. It does have a stamp, but it's really hard to make out. But whew, this is such, such a good piece. One of my absolute favorites. So the first couple of ironstone pieces I ever found were platters. And really from then on out, I was addicted. So it's only right to share a couple of platters with you guys. And for me, the more stand and praise on a platter, the better. So I'm not going to share all of my platters with you, just a couple that I cherish so much because I think I have like probably 70 of them. Oh my god, do you think I have 70 of them? There's more stuff up top that you can't see. And then I have some more stuff over here. There's a couple over here. Yeah, I have a lot of ironstone, but you know what? We all have our things that we love. So this is one of my favorite platters. Um, yeah, that's good lighting. If you can see just how aged that looks, all of the discoloration. That is what I really love to find in some of these pieces. You just really wonder like what their story is. And what blows my mind, I'm gonna sound like so nerdy here, but these pieces are so old. It's incredible that we find so many pieces that are still in mint condition. You know what I mean? Like. All of these pieces are absolutely beautiful and they're probably so, so old. I don't know the age of like, I don't do my research on them. Like I'm not that obsessed with this stuff, but I'm sure some of them are like, gotta be a hundred years old and they're still in like tip top shape. Just goes to show you how well made these pieces are, you know? So love this platter. And then this wouldn't be an ironstone video without showcasing some of my butter pats. I feel like these are what everyone loves. All ironstone lovers love some vintage ironstone butter pats. So my favorite are these four that were sent to me from a sweet friend. And they are chunky and little. And I think if I could eat these whole, I would. <laughs> Like, I could just eat these up. How stinking cute are these? There is nothing better than little chunky dishes stacked like this. So this is just a cute little stack that I have styled in my hutch. I just love to stack dishes. It is appealing to my eye. I don't know if it's appealing to your eye. Just remember, this is my home and my hutch. So... These are like, I don't even know what these are, like little pudding cups, souffle cups. I love to collect them. I think they're adorable. And then bowls, y'all know, I have an addiction to bowls. Most of my small bowl collection is in my corner cabinet. So one day we will get into that. But I think that those are some of my most favorite pieces. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna climb up on a chair and show you two bowls that are my prized possessions. One sec. I remember when I got this bowl on Facebook Marketplace, I really hesitated because I, I think I paid 65 for it and I was like, is that too much? No, no, I'm so grateful that I bought this and that no one scooped it up before me. I am all about spending a little extra on pieces that you love and that you know you will cherish. And I absolutely cherish this thing so much. I got this on Facebook Marketplace from a girl that resells antiques locally to me. And sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I just climbed up there and looked at all that stuff. 
also if you can hear that little ticking noise I just turned off my fireplace because I am sweating now but I love this bowl so much it's pretty huge it sits right on top of my fireplace and it is just absolutely gorgeous and I would love to find more in this pattern I know they make other sizes in this pattern so that will be something that I continue to hunt for but I love this guy and I am newly obsessed with this pattern. I actually have one on the way from the girl who sold me the butter pats. Um, she sells me a lot of ironstone pieces and I have one in the mail on the way that is a smaller version of this. This like scalloped detail on these bowls God, I love them. I love them so much. I want to find so many of them. If you look up, actually, you'll probably be able to see it on Mandy's channel because Mandy has a whole bunch of this style of bowls. These all stacked together and you can see just like the scalloped detail. It looks so beautiful. So that is another thing that I'm hunting for is these gorgeous shaped bowls. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, seeing some of my favorite ironstone pieces. Don't forget to check out Mandy's channel. Like I said, I will have a link for her video down in my description box. When you go over there, make sure you let her know that I sent you, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.